Hello, welcome to One Bag Travels. I'm Jeff, and today we have for you one of the newest bags by a company called Nomadic. So they're one of the companies that is uh, crowdsourced funded through companies such as Kickstarter and Indiegogo. And this was a really popular bag and they made something like $3 million in the first month to fund this. So I thought I'd take a look at it. So I'm gonna start by going over the exterior of the bag talking about the materials and all the pockets and features, straps, show you how the backpack straps work. And then I have a pile of stuff that I'm gonna do a little packing demo, show you the interior and how to pack this bag. So starting with the material, it's not listed on the website exactly what it is and I couldn't find any information on, on the material, but it's basically this, this kind of thick rubberized plasticized nylon. So, it looks like some kind of uh, thick ballistic nylon with this with this rubber coating which basically makes it really stiff and it makes it waterproof so right now i don't have anything in the bag and you can see it basically nice and thick and sturdy stands up on its own so the nomadic travel bag is basically pretty simple it's just a duffel bag with some exterior compartments and pockets so the main core of this bag is just this top flap that opens up to a large duffel bag compartment inside. It's got a couple backpack straps that also convert to a carry handle and that's essentially it. There's a lot more to this bag as far as the outside compartments and pockets and I'll go into that. So in addition to the interior duffel the Nomadic Travel Bag has all these exterior pockets. So, big pocket on this side, big pocket on this side, three pockets here on the top, and then this larger shoe compartment on the bottom. So, starting with this side, this is really just two kind of larger compartments this bigger one is meant for a book it's a little small for a magazine um, you know maybe an e-reader or something like that and then this other one travel documents uh, whatever you want to put in there so, coming over to this side, one big long zipper, about three quarter zip. And this thing folds down, and this is kind of a little briefcase area. So, they're nice enough to include a padlock with the bag and locking zippers in this RFID secure compartment. So, uh, you know, valuables, passport that kind of thing and then there's just a bunch of little pockets over here chargers headphones and kind of just whatever you want to put in there so it's kind of nice to have access to this all from the outside of the bag without having to go into the main duffel compartment this bottom end of the bag is the shoe compartment. Pretty big. Basically, pretty much anything besides a tall pair of boots is gonna fit in here. So, I could probably fit two of these in there. One thing that's a little weird, I'll go into this when I pack the bag later, is it's, it's nice having a shoe compartment because you go down to the beach or you have you know dirty muddy shoes it keeps them separate from the rest of your bag however when you put stuff in here it's going into the bag so this space is taken up and there's less room inside all right so this side of the bag this is the top it has three compartments this compartment is supposed to be for a water bottle it's kind of this rubbery waterproof plastic stuff um, that's to keep that's to keep your bag from getting wet if the water bottle leaks and it has this smaller kind of fuzzy padded pouch here 
for glasses, sunglasses, and then this pouch here. It's almost as big as the shoe compartment on the other side. Uh, it's supposed to be for socks and underwear. Um, easy access, I guess. Keep them separate. Keep smelly socks and underwear separate from your clothes. So I have six pairs of underwear and six pairs of socks in this packing cube. You don't need to use a packing cube, but it just kind of makes it easy. And that, that fits right in there, so pretty big. So one of the neat features about this bag is this kind of backpack strap, duffel strap configuration where you can see the backpack straps and the duffel bag handle are just, they're both part of the same system. So it's just this long strap that can convert between backpack straps, duffel bag strap. So depending on how long you make this. So cinch these up a little bit. Carry as a backpack. Loosen them up and these two ends come together. And that is your on a duffel duffel carry here. Um, kind of one of the one of the downfalls with this bag. It's a, it's a pretty nice system. It's pretty easy to switch back and forth between the duffel and the backpack. Um, the backpack straps they don't tuck away. They're kind of just stuck here on the outside. And this this duffel strap here, it's it's really just a thin piece of nylon. It, it it's got a tiny bit of padding, but I, I, I don't really see you carrying this bag around like this for, for long distances. It's really just kind of tote uh, between your car and airport and that kind of thing. Um, the, main, the main carry system of this bag is really going to be the backpack straps, which although they're pretty beefy, about three inches wide, a little bit of padding, they're, they're definitely not super padded. Um, they, they definitely could be better. and. This, this isn't a super big pack, but with this thing fully loaded, they are a little bit small. So the Nomadic Travel Bag also comes with these detachable waist straps with these pouches in them. So it has these little clips right here, and you can pop these things on and off. Take them if you want them. And they're, they're actually pretty thick, so. They're nice. And they have these, well, each side has this little zipper pocket in it and it's meant to be, it's big enough for a passport, just barely, and travel documents or, or whatever you want to put in that side. This is the back that, part of the bag that's gonna to be touching your back when you carry it. One of the things I find is a little bit weird is this has padding because it's the laptop sleeve but it doesn't really have any, any air ventilation or, or anything like that. So this, this is really just, it's this thick plastic material. So after carrying this thing in your back for a while, um, especially, you know, outside where it's hot, this, this is going to get kind of sticky and, and, and kind of uncomfortable on your back. So the main storage of the Nomadic travel bag is this big duffel interior. So. One big zipper pouch here. And there are no additional zippers or pouches on the inside, except for these two. This is for a tablet or an e-reader. And this will hold a 15 inch laptop. So that's nice. But I have the stuff in the exterior compartments right now and I wanted to show you what I was talking about. When you have, this is the shoe compartment full and this is the socks and underwear compartment full. So it really takes up about a third of the space in the bag. So when you're, when you're trying to pack this thing, if you're going to put stuff in these outside compartments, you kind of need to do that first and then pack around them on the inside. Whether you decide to put your socks and underwear and shoes in the outside compartments, the amount of stuff that you can fit in this bag is the same. So I'll just show you how I pack all my stuff into this big duffel compartment um, by, by just putting it all in rather than using the side compartment. So uh, here I have some electronics. I have a small 
day pack, travel backpack. This is a little pack towel, tablet. I have all my toiletries. This is six pairs of socks and underwear. Um, six t-shirts. I have a pair of shorts and a couple of long sleeve kind of button up dress shirts. And then I have two pairs of jeans in here, which wouldn't recommend taking jeans, but for purposes of the packing demo, they kind of fit nice in there and they take up a lot of space. So one of the great things about a duffel is there's really a lot of options. There's, there's as many ways to pack it as, as there are people that pack them. So really depends on what your packing style is and what you decide to carry. It's kind of, it's kind of open to interpretation. Um, I tend to use packing cubes just because it keeps all my different clothes in separate areas and I can get to it easy. I know exactly what I have. I can separate my clean clothes from my dirty clothes. Um, and because this bag is basically a maximum carry-on size, um, most of these most of these kind of medium sized cubes, they're all they're all roughly the same size. They're designed to fit about about two in here. So these are these are some Eagle Creek ones, but there's a lot of them that are all pretty similar sizes. So these two just kind of tuck right in there side by side. And then you can just kind of puzzle the rest of this stuff in there however you want. My laptop is too big to fit in there, so I won't show you that, but I got a solid seven days worth of clothes and, and gear here. Um, this is designed to be a three to seven day pack, but if you if you kind of pack on the lighter side, pack a little bit min minimalistic, uh, you can easily fit enough stuff for seven days. So that's pretty much it for the Nomadic travel bag. If you have any questions or comments, you want to you see something different, you have another bag you want me to, to have a look at, then uh, put a comment below and thanks for watching.